have been speaking hello salam on social media i expressed compassion for the victims of violence in tigray and many people were furious with me trolls on the internet but also relatives and getting that kind of pushback from family members can be really isolating i'm going to share some of the comments that i've been getting But first, for anyone who doesn't know, Tigray is a state in Ethiopia. I'm showing a map and Tigray is in the northern part of Ethiopia. Over the past few months, countless people have been killed and displaced. People of different ethnicities and different nationalities. It's not a Tigray crisis. It's a humanitarian crisis. Expressing compassion having a heart should not be twisted into favor for a political party so why are people telling me to be quiet let me count the ways one i'm being told that because i'm disabled i should just focus on disability and inspire non-disabled people that is incredibly condescending disability rights are human rights disabled people are multidimensional and we engage in all kinds of conversations number 2 number 2 is mainly a photo that has been manipulated and twisted to something it's not i'm a human rights lawyer based in the united states and before the pandemic i traveled around the world talking about disability rights. I was invited in 2014 to visit Ethiopia and speak to disability organizations and visit schools there. Here's a photo where I'm standing with Dr. Tedros, Ethiopia's Minister of Foreign Affairs in 2014, and now he heads the World Health Organization, leading the fight to end the pandemic. Dr. Tedros thanked me for talking to disabled students when I visited Ethiopia. And this photo is from 2020. Dr. Tedros is sitting in an armchair holding up my memoir, Haben, the Deaf-Blind Woman Who Conquered Harvard Law. Dr. Tedros is a gentleman wearing glasses, gray hair. He is Ethiopian and has family in Tigray. and many trolls are saying unkind things because his family is from Tigray we should not be judging people based on where they're from the color of their skin their gender or disability let's move past that i'm going to share more comments that i've received on social media she can't see the truth and i don't know if she can hear it someone else is brainwashing her my sight and hearing are terrible my heart works just fine i'm reading news articles i'm getting information from news articles no one is telling me what to say or do there's this practice in our culture of dismissing disabled people because of our disabilities that's ableist Ableism is the widespread assumption that disabled people are inferior to non-disabled people. Stop the ableist arguments. Stop dismissing disabled people. Here's another common comment I received. She must be got paid by TPLF to say such foolish. No one is paying me. No one was asking me to say these things. Stop twisting humanitarian messages into something they're not. Here's another one. You are not Eritrean anymore. I'm going to give a visual description for blind viewers because that's part of accessibility. I'm sitting in my living room, sitting on the sofa, plants behind me. I'm wearing a red dress. I'm a light-skinned black woman. A lot of people outside of the Ethiopian Eritrean communities have trouble figuring out my ethnicity. 
a lot of people say, oh, she looks Indian. Are you Indian? Within the Ethiopian and Eritrean communities, there's also a lot of confusion. Some people say, hey, she's Ethiopian. Other people say, she's Eritrean. And now some people are saying, nope, she's not Eritrean. I was born and raised in the United States. First and foremost, I'm American. My mother was born in Eritrea. My father was born in Ethiopia. Here's another message I received. Wake up, Hobbin! Exclamation mark. Don't let this people fool you. They know nothing but lies. Three exclamation marks. This last one I want to share is from an Eritrean ambassador. He posted on Twitter. Maybe it would be good that Haben is kindly approached by many of you, relatives and friends, and told the truth. Mr. Ambassador, I like that you use the word kindly. This would be a much better world if more people spoke kindly to each other. I have a voice. I'm committed to using my voice. Not everyone feels safe speaking up. A lot of people are struggling to survive. But if you do have the time and energy to speak up and you notice injustice, call out that injustice. No one asked me to make this video. It does take time to create this video. And if you appreciate it, you could let me know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and dropping a comment. And if you're an activist also feeling isolated, I want you to know that I get it. I understand.